Here is the HP Smart Tank 5000 wireless all-in-one printer. I'm going to show you how to connect or set up to Wi-Fi. So I already got my ink and everything all set up, so I'm just going to connect to Wi-Fi. So first thing is make sure it's on, and then the letter I for info, you want to press and hold. Just hold it for a few seconds so all the lights turn on. Still holding. Okay, all the lights are on. Now you want to press and hold two buttons for a few seconds, the Wi-Fi button and the X or the cancel, okay? So both buttons here. Press and hold. Now just keep holding. Hold. Okay, now when that's starting to blink, let go. And now you should only get the Wi-Fi blinking. Now from here, just go to your uh, HP app. If you don't have it, just download it from your Play Store or App Store, okay? And then go ahead and open that up. And then once you open it up, if you're here, you can tap on Add Device, or if not, tap on the plus sign, and you can go from here as well. Okay, so from here, we're going to set up a new printer right there. It found it right away. I'm just going to tap on Setup right there. It already knows my Wi-Fi. All I got to do now is go down here and put in my password. So Wi-Fi password. Okay, then I'm going to select on Done. Now it says press and release the flashing information button on the printer, the letter I. Okay, so we're going to press and release. Okay, now it's moving along. Getting IP address now. Okay, connection's finished. Let's go ahead and tap on continue right there. Looks like it's set up on Wi-Fi. We'll tap on continue right there. Printer privacy, go ahead and read through all that. And you can accept all, decline, or manage privacy settings. For myself, I will accept all. Register this printer and enjoy account benefits. You can go and read all through that. You can create an account, you can sign in, or you can skip activation. For myself, I'm just going to skip the act activation. I just want to get that Wi-Fi on there. And then we get this right here, firmware, future firmware updates, up to you. I like to put auto update, and I'll tap on save. Okay, we're done. And if you want to print a test page, you can. I'll go ahead. You can skip it, or you can print it. I'm just going to go ahead and print it, so make sure there's paper in there. Slide this out. And voila. Pretty simple.